In 2008, the Russian army was a vastly different force than it is today. The sword was sharp, but the army hadn't escaped its Chechen war legacy. Standardization and modernization just weren't conceivable yet. The realities that the Russian army faced are reflected in their old 6B23 body armor that was the standard protection for infantry after its 2003 inception. With the 6B23 changing its appearance as the Russian army matured from being a ragged 21st century post-Soviet force to the higher speed digital camouflage wearing menace that it is today. The original 6B23, of which there are a few variants, are composed of a pair of unorthodoxically shaped steel plates and Kevlar. This shape allows for shooter's comfort when aiming, but you heard me right, pair of. This is all you get. There are no back plates, and your rear protection is limited to soft air mid layers. These air mid layers are largely to stop splash effects from impacts against the main steel plates, as well as to stop weakened bullets that pass through those plates themselves, in a similar design philosophy to the Defender 2 vests. Unfortunately, the coverage of the plates isn't the best, and leaves a lot of your upper chest exposed. We're going to get right into testing the capabilities of this armor, but first, a word from my sponsor. Big Gondola is brought to you by Commando Store, the only adoption agency for fuzzy, six-foot-tall Finnish friends. Big Gondola is fully posable. His movable internal skeleton ensures that he won't slip or slouch during your adventures together. Need a travel buddy? Wingman? Maybe even a designated driver? Big Gondola's got you covered. Head over to commandostore.com to get your big buddy today. With that introduction out of the way, let's take our first shot. That shot is a 30-06 M14A1 armor-piercing incendiary out of a 21-inch barrel from 15 feet, and we'll be aiming for the lower plate. The shot did not penetrate, and it left minor deformation. We'll be taking a look at the incendiary effect more closely later. For now, let's move on to something a little harder hitting, like a 308 P80 round from our 21-inch FAL. Again, no penetration. A bit more deformation this time, but not enough to render any serious damage. The last shot we took was with that steel 9mm ammo. This ammo has reliably penetrated all level 3A armor and helmets I've used it against. Rolling. And yet, curiously, it failed against the soft rear of the 6B23. This is honestly a pretty good show for a vest so simple. The soft armor is astoundingly effective, and no splash effects were seen in the slow motion. Let's take an autopsy. The results show that the full-sized rifle rounds penetrated the steel plates only to be stopped by the Kevlar layers. The last fragments of the P80 steel core in particular were only stopped by the absolute very last layer of airman armor giving a perfect indication as to the rating of the 6B23 as being just short of NIJ level 4. This means that this armor would have failed against 3-06 M2AP, but can reliably stop multiple 308 black tip hits. Not bad, so long as those black tips are steel, and not tungsten, of course. The 3-06 API round singed the inside of the Kevlar substantially, but no fragments or serious effects from the incendiary, and no spall or splash escaped the vest. Overall, the 6B23 isn't perfect, the coverage is minimal, and your back is exposed, but the protection is real. And the results show that the protected areas are above their rated armor class, so long as you keep your front towards the enemy.